Hello, how are you doing? This is Beate, I'm checking in on you. I am sitting here in Los Angeles. I got up super early this morning to do a, a virtual talk, which is why I'm all set up here, to a Johnson & Johnson a pharmaceutical biotech arm of the company to talk about uh, diversity for the teams that are working on the COVID-19 uh, vaccine and treatment option. One of the important things that I want to really point out in times like this, where we are all struggling in a crisis of unprecedented proportions, is that it is important that you make sure every voice on your team is being heard because you just have no idea who's going to come up with an idea that will help you to get through this or recover quicker from this. Now, the realities of this is that we have going to face a lot of changes in our businesses coming up. The next three to six months are going to be critical. A lot of businesses are going to go out of business. A lot of people are going to be out of work. It's going to have lasting impacts on the housing market and other, you know, in, in the economy, obviously, in general. The reason I know this, this is literally my seventh disasters, fires, floods, earthquakes, 9-11, a tsunami, you name it. I have faced a lot of different obstacles, and I find that the cadence to survival that is very specific and it is easy for us as our habits change you, you might remember that it takes 21 days to change a habit but what you know as we are in this and we're changing our habits over the next 21 days there is a great danger for you and your brain to think about it's going to be like this forever i got news for you it will not every time we've had a disaster the recovery from it is usually pretty you know once once that curve kicks in uh, it's usually pretty quickly so i'm going to give you some ideas about keeping your mindset clear and positive so in in a disaster and what made me get through all these disasters and you might no, I might not know, but after the worst moment of my life, 18 months later, I sold my business to Bill Gates for millions of dollars. I went from $135,000 in debt and facing sure bankruptcy to becoming a multimillionaire in 18 months. So what do I know that I can share with you about that? So what it is, is from a mindset perspective, you have to get yourself out of this disaster scenario. It's bad. There's no question about it, but it's not going to help you to ponder over what is bad. What will help you is to think about what it is that you can do right at this very moment and how can you make it through not just today, but how can you make it through the next hour? And sometimes it's so bad that it's all about how I'm going to make it through the next five minutes. So the question is not so much, you know, what's going to be at the end of it. At the end of it, I can tell you what is at the end of it. At the end of it, you need to visualize yourself, you know, being in business, being employed, you know, paying your bills with ease. And you just have to trust that the path that's going to get you there is going to be a lot less of a straight line than you imagine, but much more resembling a crazy wave line or a zigzag line with big ups and big downs, because that's just the way where things are right now. From a mindset perspective, you know, focus on the now, focus on what you can do, take action on things that you can do. In my case, as you can see, I took my studio in-house, I ordered a green screen, I put a, you know, Los Angeles background on it. I, you know, have my lights right here. I, you know, I got dressed, I put my makeup on, I'm talking to you. It's a little different than what I normally do, but hey, you know, this is what needs to be done. That's what I'm going to be doing because I'm, you know, going to continue to send my message out. So I want you to think about what are the things that you can do to get your business through this? What is it that you can do to keep your teams in whatever format or reduced capacity you have alive and thinking forward? What is it that you have control over? And then you do a lot more of that. Again, this is Beate Chalette. I'm the growth architect, founder of the Women's Code, specialized in leadership and business development because you can't do one without the other and broadcasting live from Los Angeles. Hang in there, everybody. This will not always be like this. And goodbye.